Hello everyone, how to solve this problem for the values of k if we have k root of k divided by k is equals to 7 and we solve this problem for all the values of k. So here first we need to find all the roots of this equation and at the last we will be verify that which of the roots are solution and which of the roots are extraneous root. Further, we solve this problem for two methods. I hope so you like both of these methods. But if you have any other method in your mind, so please don't hesitate to write this method into the comment section. And now we move towards our first method. And in the first method, here uh, first we need to move this k to the right hand side it is divided by left hand side when we move it into the right hand side it is multiplied by 7 and it is equals to square root of k equals to 7 times of k and in the next step we need to remove this k root sign from left hand side so in order to remove this we need to take squaring on both of the sides so when we take squaring, it will be written as square root of k and its whole square is equals to 7k and its whole square. And now in the next step we have this is 2 and square root are cancelled out by each other and we will get here k is equals to this is 7 square and we know that 7 square becomes 49 and this is k equals to k square. And now here in the next step we move this k to the right hand side and it will be written as 49 times k square this is positive k when we move it into the left hand side it will becomes negative k and we have 49 k square uh, minus k is equals to 0 and further in the next step we need more simplifications and it will be written as uh, so we have here uh, you see that both of these two terms involve k so that we take common k from here and when we take common k we get the remaining values are uh, from here we get uh, 49 times of k and when we take common k from here we get minus 1 only and this whole equation is equals to 0. And now here in the next step we divide this equation into the two cases the first case is we write k is equals to 0 and the second case is we write 49k minus 1 is equals to 0 so this is the first root of the given equation and from here we get the second root so that we move this minus 1 to the right hand side and it will becomes plus 1 and for the values of k we need to divide both of the sides by 49 so that when we divide by 49 it will be written as in this form and now you see here these two terms are cancelled out by each other and we get our k is equals to 1 divided by 49 so this is the value second value of k so here in this question we get these are the two roots of the given equation and further in the next step we need to verify that is these two values of k are satisfied our given question statement or not so that for verification of this value of k we need to copy down given question statement here and the given question statement is square root of k divided by k is equals to 7 and uh, in this side we will be verify k is equals to 0 and in this side we will be verify k is equals to 1 over 49. So here first we need to put k is equals to 0 into the left hand side of the given equation and after putting this it will be written as square root of 0 divided by 0 is equals to 7. And we know about that square root of 0 becomes 0 over 0 form equals to 0. And we know about that 0 over 0 is usually called that it is the indeterminate form or in other words we say that uh, it is undefined. So if our left hand side is undefined this means that both of the sides are not equal and if both of the sides are not equal this means that the value of k is equals to 0 is not satisfied our given question statement so that we, uh, we conclude about that k is equals to 0 be the extraneous root of the given equation 
okay so k equals to 0 be the extraneous root and in the same pattern uh, we move towards our second root and now we put this value of k into the left hand side of this equation and it will be written as 1 divided by 49 and its whole square root divided by 1 over 49 and we check that is this equals to 7 or not and we know that 1 square root becomes 1 49 square root becomes 7 and here this is fraction over fraction we uh, the denominator fraction will becomes reciprocal and it is multiplied by numerator term then it will becomes 49 divided by 1 and we check that is this equals to 7 or not so here you see that this is 7 times 7 becomes 49 and we easily get 7 is equals to 7 this shows that the value of k is equal to 1 over 49 is satisfied over given question statement. So we say that the solution set of this question is that uh, 1 over 49. So this is the solution set and k equals to 0 be the extraneous root. And now here we again solve this problem for the second method and in second method we need to copy down given question statement here it is k root of k divided by k is equals to 7 this is the given question statement and here we in the second method we just solve uh, we just find the roots of this equation by a quick method uh, so for this we uh, write the denominator k as the square root of k into square root of k is equals to 7 we know about that if you have some number 2 we write it as square root of 2 multiplied by square root of 2 so for the in that rule we write this k as into the product of squares so these two are cancelled out by each other and we get here 1 divided by square root of k is equals to 7 so here for the values of k we need to interchange these two values so we move square root of k to the right hand side and 7 to the left hand side and it will becomes 1 over 7 is equals to square root of k and now here for the values of k we need to take squaring on both of the sides and you get here 1 square becomes 1 and 7 square becomes 49 these two and square root are gone and we get the value of k is equals to 1 over 49. So this is the final value of k which we get in the second method but in the first method we already verified that this value of k is satisfied our given question statement. So this is the only one solution of this problem and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos.